For over 200 years, until the late 1800s, our ancestors, the Merediths, lived here, on the hillside in the beautiful forest of Dean, overlooking the River Severn. Some of them were free miners, which meant they were eligible to mine their own plot of land, like this one, digging for coal which was used to power the Industrial Revolution. Coal mining was once one of the most important industries in the UK, employing over a million people at its peak. Even now, there are still three working mines left in the Forest of Dean. But imagine what life was like back then, in the 18th and 19th centuries, as men and boys entered through this doorway and descended into the pit. My ancestors, the Merediths, used to mine in a mine exactly like this one. We have just been down this mine and I can tell you it was frightening. It was very damp, very cold and very, very dark. I can't believe that little four and five year olds used to have to push little carts along the rails and the miners used to have to have um, like a candle in their mouth well, like a stick with a candle on the end to, to give them light, um, which was very, very dangerous. Uh, and uh, it just gives you that feeling of knowing what it felt like to be down a very, very dark hole in the ground. A dangerous one at that. OK, so this is uh, Phoenix Pottery. And at Phoenix, you can see exactly how we would have worked in the 1840s. The conditions are the same, the timber work is the same. So this is how your ancestors would have worked. This is a low seam, 30 inches high. Um, very common in the forest. Dean, you have to cut this by hand to the pit uh, to get the coal out. The coal comes down the coal face into the dram there, and then the dram gets pushed out. Many people died down the mines, and there are numerous memorials in the forest. One such person was our ancestor, James Meredith, who died in Bilson Pit. The local paper said it was the fourth time the roof had caved in on him. But in the 1860s, while Cinderford was still a strong coal mining community, our branch of the Merediths made a decision that would ultimately change all our destinies. What was it that made our ancestors, the Merediths, leave this place? beautiful part of the world to go and mine in Yorkshire. We believe that they were looking for better prospects and East Ardsley is one of the places they came to work. At the turn of the 20th century, East Ardsley Colliery between Leeds and Wakefield was the 11th largest mine in Yorkshire. Conditions in these mines were just as challenging as in the Forest of Dean with people crawling along in confined spaces, but with the added danger of methane gas. We've just come up from the mining museum where there's a lot of old technology and a lot of new technology that's it's just unbelievable. And one of the things that of interest was, was, was the canaries, which they used to use down the mines many years ago to test for the gas. My own father, Joseph, was the last of the mining Merediths, giving up after an accident down the pit in the 1940s. He and my mum, Alice, moved with me and my eight brothers and sisters to Leeds, where I grew up, and he decided to choose a much safer profession. He became a painter and decorator. The last deep mine in the UK Kellingley Colliery in North Yorkshire closed just 18 months ago as demand for coal fueled electricity has almost disappeared. And this year, 2017, Britain went a full day without using imported coal to generate electricity for the first time since the Industrial Revolution, the end of an era. <laughs>